Jay Connor. Hi, Jay. Hello there, Mike. Great to see you again, and thanks for having me back on. Thank you very much for coming back on. Appreciate it. And um, Jay is a brother from the Collective Genius Mastermind. We've been there for many years, and you hail from small town America uh, called um, Moorhead, North Carolina, right on the water, right? That's it. Moorhead City, little teeny tiny town. Uh, my total target market that I invest in has only got 40,000 people. Got it. But it's it's your typical small town America, right? That's right. That's right. So just to remind folks a little bit about just a couple more words about you, family, married, kids, cats, pets, dogs, anything <laughs> that good goes. Sure. So uh, I was actually born and raised here. Um, I met my wife, Carol Joy, my first Sunday in town, met her at church out in Wichita Falls, Texas, when I moved out to Texas back in the 80s. But uh, Carol Joy and I, uh, in just a couple of months, uh, we're going to be married 35 years. Congratulations. uh, We weren't blessed with any children, but we got 28 nieces and nephews. (laughs) That's wonderful. she, She comes from a big family. Um, but yeah, we've been back here in this small area, um, since 1988, uh, we started investing in single family houses, uh, 2003. So we've been doing it a long time. Uh, we've rehabbed about 450 houses here in this little area. And, um, the first six years we were in the business from 2003 to 2009, we relied on local banks and mortgage companies to fund our deals. Back in that day, Mike, I never even heard of hard money, hard money lenders. I never heard of private money. I thought you just went to the local bank and borrowed money for your deals. Well, that was a rude awakening in January, 2009. I called up my banker and I learned real quickly that my lines of credit were gone, like gone overnight. And I didn't even know anything about it. So that's when I was introduced to this world of private money and, and work and doing business with individuals. So um, in about 90 days, I was able to raise a little over a couple of million dollars in funding that I didn't have prior to being cut off. So um, I've been using private money uh, all that time since 2009. Carol, Joe, and I have got about 46 private lenders right now, individuals that invest in our business. So Anyway, um, I guess I'm self-proclaimed as the private money authority because I've taught so many students how to do it and how to go find capital. And like yourself, I tell everybody, you need to have fantastic relationships with as many people as you can, hard money lenders, uh, private lenders, because you know you just don't know what deal's going to come along that you know you need more than one relationship to make that deal happen. Yeah, that's the great wisdom. Uh, having private relationships with uh, folks that have some capital with sitting and earning very little or waiting for the next project. And uh, uh, it it is much better and much safer for you as a deal maker and a shaker uh, to raise money from private investors versus the banks. Because as you you said, you don't know when the bank's going to turn off the faucet. Has nothing to do with you. Has to do with bank 